Hey, 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 Gemini Collective. This is Angel. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to get a you versus them love reading completed for you guys for the month of March. I want to see what's happening with you. I want to see what's happening with you and your person. I am going to get your messages from spirit and also your person with the numerology guidance oracles. I'm going to see what you both feel regarding this connection and the mutual energy with the beach time soul as well as astro metrics tarot uh, deck i'm going to use that to get more clarifications and see what an outcome is going to be for you guys so hang tight get comfy and let's begin spirit if you would for the greatest and highest good show me the uh, numerology guidance messages that you have for the sign of gemini sun moon rising and venus signs what messages do you have for gemini collective show me their message and then i'll grab the message of their person what do you have for them spirit let's see what's happening i hope you guys are having a good day let's see and if not i'm sending well wishes your way um relationship change so spirit is saying here's about to be a major shift in your relationship this is card number 56 this is going to break down to an 11 so with that being said 11 plus one excuse me one plus one is going to be two so you may be seeing two 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 um as a significant angel number that is um letting you know that there is going to be a shift in your relationship what i'm feeling from this is there's going to be a shift in the relationship but it is not a bad shift it is a shift that is definitely necessary and needed so spirit is saying don't fret don't start to get you know scared this is just a shift that is definitely necessary show me more for gemini um surrender spirit is saying with card number 91 it is time for you to surrender you may be holding on too closely to this relationship where change cannot get in there to move this situation into a different direction um this is card number 91 that is going to break down to a 10 which is going to break down to a one so it looks like you guys may also be seeing one 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 spirit is saying that you are trying to work this situation to death um, and you have gone about it the same way over and over and over again. And Spirit is saying, I need you to let your hands off of it and allow me to get in there and start to shift the energy around this relationship. Because you are beating a dead horse and you have had uh, instances where you've hit brick wall after brick wall and you can't get this situation to transform and change the way that you need it to. Spirit is saying, this is where you're going to have to step back, get your hands off the situation and surrender it to them. Show me... Um, for Gemini's person, what messages do you have for Gemini's person? Health, 71. This person needs to focus on their health, not just their physical health, but their mental health and their psychological help as well as their emotional help and different things like that this person is struggling um because they're under a lot of stress and anxiety um practically like you are but it looks like you're handling it much better although you may not be in a mental or physical or psychological conflict you are um, repeating the same thing over and over trying to fix this situation and that's the definition of insanity you're doing the same thing over and over trying to change the dynamic of this connection and you're getting nowhere well this person is doing the same thing but it is affecting their health um, so spirit is saying that this person needs to focus on their health and you both need to surrender this situation so that the divine can step in. Um, card number 71 is going to break down to an eight. You guys may also be seeing 888 or your person may be seeing 888. Show me more. Um, self-love. Yep. That's that health. This person needs to focus on self-love. This is card number 61. That's going to break down to a seven. So seven, 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 this person may be seeing it, but self-love is going to be very, very important for your person at this time. And at the bottom of the deck, synchronicity spirit is saying they're sending you guys signs and synchronicities with regard to this situation. Um, card number 87 is going to break down to a 15. So that is going to be a six. So you guys may also be seeing 666. This is a number of change and transformation as well so lots of changes is happening in this connection and spirit is urging you guys to focus on these areas so that you can bring this change in 
and very quickly in in a positive way okay let me look at this show me the energy for gemini with regard to this relationship show me the energy for gemini what's happening with this relationship regarding gemini and the person they are watching this reading for show me from the perspective of gemini what is happening in this connection for them let's see show me spirit what's happening for gemini and this person sunglasses watching stalking um gaslighting perception and focusing out and palm tree stability security performance growth endurance and flexibility and also seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference so okay so here's the deal what i'm seeing on your side gemini is that you feel like you have been um, completely bamboozled in this relationship and that's why this relationship change is here you're telling me and you're telling the divine that the relationship has changed from what it originally was you felt like in the beginning you were in a solid stable relationship with this palm tree card and everything was good and things were moving forward but somewhere along the way a shift came into this dynamic and it started to move this connection in a different direction to where you felt like this person um, was uh, starting to stray away from this connection and became more lustful outside of the connection and was being lured in by friends and outside sources and outside influences and it drew a wedge between this situation um i think that you may have been keeping a close eye on this connection like looking through cell phones and if you didn't some of you guys definitely have with the stalking card over here on your side um watching and looking you may have followed this person to work you may um be checking their phone when they're not paying attention some of you guys have been doing a lot of investigation type of inspector gadget type of work on this person because you want to know what the hell happened in your connection where things would shift um, in a different direction is this person with someone else is someone seducing my person are they flirting and dating and hooking up with other people is there a third party this is where you are you're saying something's wrong with my damn connection and i need to know what okay you felt it change and spirit is saying stop being an investigator okay stop being inspector gadget and surrender the situation in prayer to the divine so the divine can start to reveal things of what is happening in this connection you being inspector gadget bill not the signs guy blues clues door the explorer is not helping you get any closer to the truth okay so show me uh, this health card for um gemini's person and this uh self-love show me what is going on with gemini's person with regard to this connection how are they feeling about it show me spirit if you would what's going on with gemini's person um ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union also um abundance keeping a positive mindset manifesting exactly what you want and gratitude and bliss and then also mask showing not showing their feelings hiding um perception pretending deluding and gaslighting okay so here's the thing this is an insecurity gemini and you can reverse the roles as need be i'm not trying to call anybody out i'm just trying to help you guys with clear and you know precise information that's going to help you get where you need to get girl with the snake empath and narcissistic paradigm being charmed and used so what is going on here is that there's an insecurity over here on this side whether that's you or your person reverse the roles this person started pulling back and focusing on other things like their finances um their spiritual growth and abundance and ascending but in that process they kept it hidden from you they didn't explain to you what was happening they didn't include you they pretty much made what they wanted to deal with their priority and they kept you in the dark so now because they've been so you know secretive and so closed off while they go through this expand this uh, ascension and trying to work on their finances you feel as if that this is a narcissistic type of situation because this person wants things exactly the way that they want them they're not really concerned with you they're not letting you in they give you only what you need to know 
for um, them to gain whatever it is they want from you is how you are feeling but spirit is saying that there is an ego issue here so there's an insecurity and there's an ego issue and on your person's end their ego is bigger than life and spirit is saying because they have this big ego they feel like they don't owe any explanations for who they are and how they operate and it doesn't show over here that they're doing anything malicious or vindictive but the fact that you hide what you are doing and you're not clear and you're not open and you're not transparent will give off the impression of uh, someone who is not being just or not being fair or someone who is manipulating lying cheating and stealing and this person doesn't look like that it looks like they're concerned with their health they're concerned with giving themselves self-love because they have those cards right here health and self-love they are ascending spiritually and they are working on their financial abundance and they have been keeping a secret how they feel that's what is going on with this person it's no more than that this is someone who is not used to expressing their feelings okay they don't know how to express it they probably have never been in a connection with someone who required it and i know people think that that's crazy but sometimes you get in a relationship and you are in such a toxic relationship um you you're dealing with someone who don't have very many requirements and you can kind of come and go the way that you please and as long as you're there they're happy i'm not saying that's this dynamic i'm saying that may have been the dynamic of their past relationships um that there was no standards to what was required in that relationship so we're going to get into the tarot and see if there's anything else we can find out for you guys but i don't see anything wrong here except this person being very quiet um show me for the greatest and highest good for the sign of gemini show me what is happening um for gemini collective with the tarot spirit please show me what's going on with Gemini, show me how Gemini is feeling about this situation. What do they want to do? What are they thinking is happening? Let's see. Two shuffles. One and two. Show me what's happening for Gemini. The Nine of Swords. I hope you guys can. Yeah, you guys can see it. The Queen of Swords. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The five of wands. Okay, so what this is telling me, the nine of swords, the queen of swords, the five of wands, is that this is driving you mentally crazy. You, you're not able to sleep at night. It's keeping you up at night. The queen of swords says that you are very matter of fact right now. You're, you're not trying to hear any explanations because you feel like you already know the truth. And the crazy part is you don't know the truth. The truth that you know is false. OK, and now you've created a lot of conflict. And like I said, reverse the roles. If it's not you, you created a lot of conflict around you um, with this person and with other people and, and with this person because you don't know what's happening with them and they're not revealing it. And with other people, because you're mad at this person, it's bleeding over to situations at work. It's bleeding over to situations with your kids It's bleeding over to situations with your family members, your parents and also your friends. So you're causing conflict out of fear of not being clear on what is happening in your situation um show me over here what is happening with gemini's person uh, gemini's person how's gemini's person feeling about this connection show me how gemini's person is feeling about this connection the king of wands um the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius energy you may be dealing with that sign you may not be the king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy the two of swords Hold on just one second. The two of swords and the five of swords. Okay. So what I'm seeing over here with your person is your person is saying, I'm passionate about this connection that I have with Gemini. Something that I want. Okay. Believe it or not. Even with everything going on, this five of wands, this queen of swords, this nine of swords, you being completely out of control. This person is saying, I care about Gemini and I want to be with this person because I am very passionate about them. I have a lot of fire, love and determination for this relationship as a whole. But with the two of swords and the five of swords, this person is saying, I don't want 
to stay in this situation if it is going to be a win at all cost type of situation where you have to be right about even the things you don't know to be true. Um, and they don't want to argue. And they're saying this is becoming too much of a burden for them. And they're about to make a decision to walk away from this situation because it's just becoming too much. Okay. So because they're not speaking to you, they feel like you are, when I say speaking with you, I mean, being clear about what's happening with them. Um, and here's the thing. This is what I want you guys to know, Gemini. When we start going through a spiritual uh, awakening and ascension, a lot of things happen to us to where we feel like we're going crazy. Okay. And some people struggle with expressing how they're feeling and what they're going through when they're going through a spiritual ascension or an awakening because everybody in the world does not understand that spiritual change. Um, and you start to hear things, you start to see things, um, you start to become clear of, on things and you start to know things that you shouldn't know. And it's a lot of things that will scare the bejesus out of you if you have never gone through it. And this person is saying, I need to keep that to myself. That's private, that's personal. And I don't need nobody looking at me crazy like, like I'm like there's something wrong with me. I need my spiritual awakening to be between be between me, God, source, and the universe. And this person is saying, if Gemini can't get on the same page with me and understand that I'm going through something that I cannot talk about right now, and maybe one day once I get more um, experience in this spiritual awakening, this ascension, I can. But right now, I need to figure out what this is and what this means for me. Um, and if Gemini can't understand that and respect it, although I never told Gemini that, then I may have to make a decision to walk away from this situation. Um, show me Gemini's action in this connection. Spirit, what action is Gemini planning on taking with regard to this current situation in love? Show me. The Eight of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. Oh, the Page of... I mean, excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles. So what you're saying here is that I don't feel like I have a place anymore in this connection. I don't feel like I have a place anymore. I don't feel like I fit. So you're saying with the Eight of Wands, I am going to choose to move forward and becoming a single independent person, Nine of Pentacles. And that's Taurus energy on the Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Knight of Pentacles. I'm slowly going to gather myself I'm slowly going to start to transform on being a single and independent person. And I think you're you're not happy about it because you know that this was a good connection. But I think you're prematurely making this decision. Um, but I mean, if that's the decision that you want to make, then by all means do. Because when you're dealing with someone who's going through a spiritual awakening, it's not for the weak and it's not for the partner to be weak either. It is going to be a very, very big shift and change um, in this person and how they're responding and how they're reacting because it is a new process for them and it's a very scary one so if you're saying i can't hang in there by all means make whatever decision you need to do and move forward but gemini this could be your person um, who doesn't understand what you're going through if you're going through a spiritual awakening or an ascension and it is burdensome for them because they don't understand it and they can't uh, get on the same level. And if it's you, I'm sure you probably have told them you're going through this and tried to explain it to them. And they still didn't get it. Um, but either way, whoever it is who's not going through the spiritual awakening is the one who wants to move away from this connection. Show me um, on this side, Gemini's person. And I'm just saying Gemini's person on this side uh, just for the sake of keeping things straight. Show me Gemini's person with regard to this connection. What actions do they plan on taking? The King of Swords, the Fool card, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so basically what it says is that this person is going to, um, they're going to push themselves to come and have this conversation with you and try to explain to you exactly what they're dealing with. And if you're the one that's having the spiritual awakening, then it's you. You feel like, okay, I need to come clean. I need to be upfront, and I need to try to save this situation with my person. Um, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy says that I I am going to be honorable and 
being completely transparent about what is happening with me. The full card says I'm taking this risk and I feel like it's a risk because anytime you reveal to someone you're going through a spiritual awakening and you start telling them the different things that your body is going through, the different things that you are starting to recognize and know when you shouldn't know them, um, you're taking a risk, like I said, of someone thinking that you're crazy. But this person is saying with the full card being Aries energy or Aquarius energy, I'm going to go ahead and take this risk because I've built something with the seven of pentacles with uh, Gemini and I want to keep this situation. I don't want to lose it. And I feel like this is a really good situation. So they've made a decision um, to try to work this situation out. Show me the potential outcome of how Gemini wants this situation to um, unfold. Show me how Gemini wants this situation to unfold between them and their person. Show me spirit. The page of Pentacles, the star and the king of cups okay so basically what you're saying is yes with the page of pentacles i want a new beginning taurus virgo capricorn energy aquarius energy on the star and the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces you're saying i want a new start with the situation i want to try to heal this because there's so much love in this connection between me and this person i don't want to lose this situation and i know that they don't want to lose it either um show me on this side um gemini's person what would they want this situation um to be the outcome what outcome would they want to see happen with this connection show me spirit show me the five of cups the lovers and the judgment yeah basically what they're saying and then at the bottom of the deck the emperor so basically this mutual energy is you both bossing up and wanting to change the dynamic of this connection okay so i'm gonna sit this here you guys are both saying we need to boss up and become stronger and wiser in how we handle each other and how we handle our relationships with the emperor that's aries energy you may be dealing with the aries you may not be the five of cups says I, I have been hurt in this situation. Your person is saying, this has been, you know, a, a very trying situation for me. I've been focusing on what was wrong in the connection rather than focusing on what was good, which is these two full cups um, in the back of them, which is your two cups, you and your person. They're saying, I need to put more focus on this connection and I need to make and recommit uh, um, the decision to choose Gemini in love and make a solid judgment call to do that and to do that each and every day. This is Libra energy on the judgment and Gemini energy on the lovers. So this person is saying, I'm choosing Gemini as my partner in love and I am choosing to be there for Gemini each and every day. So it looks like this is going to be a beautiful situation that you guys are going to be able to transform. Gemini, this is what I have for you guys. I hope it brings you peace, clarity, and direction. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know when I upload another video. If you're watching this on TikTok, then give me a like and a follow and save this as a favorite so that you can come back and watch it again. If you're looking for a personal reading, the link is in the description box below on YouTube and in the comment section and on TikTok. Um, and um, take care, guys. I love you. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.